This video demonstrates the installation process of S6GL 1P 2.5 to 6K S string inverter series. Attention! Electrical equipment can only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please read the user manual before installation and check whether the accessories in the box are complete. Please install the inverter in a safe location that meets the requirements for easy ventilation and heat dissipation. And avoid direct sunlight. When the inverter is running, there may be risks of high temperature and high voltage. Please install the inverter in a location that is not easily accessible. Appropriate space should be reserved around the inverter. Install the mounting bracket. Using a level ruler to ensure collimation level after determined the installation position of the back plate. Mark the punch point with a marker. Drill about 60 mm depth with a 10 mm drill at the marked points. Insert the expansion bolts and the accessories into the punched holes. Align to the exposed screws and install the back plate in correct place. Back plate installation is complete. Mount the inverter. Align the inverter hook with the hole of the back hanging plate and then hang it in. Screw the fixing screws attached to the package into the fixing holes on both sides. Grounding cable connection. Connect the ground wires crimped with OT terminal to the ground point on the side of inverter. Please use a multimeter to measure the open circuit voltage of the PV strings. Distinguish the positive and negative poles. Ensure the DC voltage is within the allowable range marked on the nameplate of the inverter. Please refer to Soli's demonstration video for making of DC connection cable. When the solar module is exposed to the sun, high voltage will appear on the DC wire. Do not touch the DC wire before connecting the inverter. Please ensure that the open circuit voltage of the photovoltaic string does not exceed the limit of the inverter. The solar modules connected to the same MPPT must have the same specification, the same orientation, and the same inclination. When you hear a click sound, it indicates that the connection is fastened. AC side connection. Push the locker onto the socket housing completely. Then rotate the locker according to the direction instructed by the marks on the locker. Communication connection. The inverter can work with a single phase smart meter to achieve export power management function and or or 24 hour consumption monitoring function. Take the external CT type meter connection as an example. One end of the communication cable is connected to the bottom port of the inverter. And the AJ45 connector at the other end is connected to the meter. If you choose Tholi's data logger, please connect it to the COM port at the bottom of the inverter. DRM means Demand Response Enable Device. This function is for inverter that comply with AS or NZS 4777.2-2020 standard. Power on debugging. Please visually check first to make sure all cables are connected properly. You can pull the cable lightly to confirm that the cable connection is tight. Close DC switch. If the DC input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up. Turn on Solis Cloud to connect Bluetooth. Perform the setting configuration for grid kata setting, etc. Setup complete. The inverter will start normal operation.